Crocker, the Leave oh, Britney Alone guy. Um, Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dungeon of the Mad Mage. This is episode 108, and we're just going to jump into a recap so my players don't continue talking about random shit. So, Brittany, oh, that's random. Not random. It's very topical and relevant. Very topical. Very bay, 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 bay. Sure. Previously, I agree. Yeah. Topical and relevant. in the Dungeon of the Mad Mage, the party had begun exploring the miniature Otto's castle, a castle several members of the party had begun to suspect might actually be Madgoth's castle. The party had found their way into a shredded study where the homunculus that had been attacking them was repeatedly respawning. They had also found a locked chamber here, and after Bones opened the door, the party had heard a series of detonations from one of the floors above them. The party found only more questions in the strange locked study, and so decided to continue exploring after tethering the door to the homunculus's room shut. The party found many strange chambers throughout the first floor. An empty study, a chamber filled with chests, a clay brick making factory, a magical kitchen with unseen chefs and a banquet of never ending food. But what they didn't find were any answers to any of their questions. During their exploration, Ezra and Ashes were both attacked by some creature that launched mind-altering gases at them. Fortunately, nothing bad came from the situations, but the party concluded that they were being stalked by some invisible creature that was intelligent enough to stay on the periphery of Matashtai's lantern. Feeling as if they had explored the entirety of the first floor and were still no closer to any answers, the party ascended the stair to the second floor. While still an eerie, almost haunting place, the second floor had a more luxurious feel about it, with stylish rugs and lounge chairs dotting the hallways. As the party began searching chambers, they eventually found themselves peering into a large bedchamber where a sleeping figure snored loudly. Bones decided to investigate, and when he did, he crept up to the figure, peeled back the covers, and found absolutely nothing. But as he did so, wands within the many paintings about the room came alive and fired a volley of magical missiles at him. The party left to defend Bones, and quickly hacked the wands down, but not before Bones was so injured that he fled the room. Out in the hall, as he caught his breath, Bones was attacked by a large, violet-colored dragon with butterfly wings. He was able to hold his breath and retreat from the noxious fumes the creature exhaled and then watched as it winked out of existence. Still, the party had finally gotten a good look at the creature that stalked them. With Bones seriously wounded, the party decided to retreat back down to the first floor and rest, but as they headed down, they heard a ruckus coming from where they had trapped the homunculus. The party decided it might be a good idea to try interacting with the creature once more, and Matashtai healed Bones before the party set off. They found the magic being still trying to free itself from the chamber they had roped shut. The party undid the trap and confronted the creature, ready to fight but hoping that finally communication would win out. Matashtai opened by saying a single word, Madgoth. And while the party had no way of knowing if that single utterance had an influence or not, the homunculus did not leap to attack them. Instead, it began rummaging around the detritus before lifting up a crudely drawn image of a violet, vaguely dragon-shaped creature. It then shredded the image in a fit of rage, cocked its head at the party, and waited for a response. The party surmised that this homunculus had been having to deal with the creature that had been stalking them, the creature that Bones had seen and now believed to be a fairy dragon. 
Probably, they guessed, the same creature that was tormenting the stone giants. It seemed clear that the homunculus wanted this creature dealt with. The party agreed, and the homunculus led them back to the strange study they had left earlier. There it reached into a mirror and pulled out a helm, the helm that the replicant version they had found earlier was modeled after. It gave this helm over to the party, and after Matashtai put it on, the homunculus demonstrated that, while wearing the helm, one would not take damage within the castle. Armed with this powerful new tool, the party thanked the homunculus, promised to defeat the trickster dragon, and set about resting to heal their wounds. After their rest, they returned to the second floor to explore further, eventually making their way to the southwest chamber. More wine. This was another bedchamber, but within it stood one of Halister's magic gates, and before their very eyes, the gate shimmered silver and out rushed several drow. Oh, fuck. The drow warriors cried out in recognition of the party, yelling that they had found them. And that is where we fade into the scene. And that is where I need everyone to select their tokens and roll for initiative. I need to find my token. That is my token. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah, right? And we'll turn that off. Oh, that beautiful bean footage. Wow. Wow. Wow, we fast. Nice. Very oh. nice. Some of us. Damn Not all of us. Best. Majority of us are that fast. Fast, fast as fuck, boy. boy. Fast as fuck, boy. <laughs> Let's see if I do this right. Good. All right. Very good. Oof. That's a that's a chunk of people. Okay, so uh Bones steps into this chamber, right? Sees the bed array, sees the various bits and bobs that the accoutrements of this bed chamber, and then sees the the magic gate on the northern wall, sees it shimmer and out poop, poop, poop pop a a group of drow and as they see him and there's recognition that dawns in their eyes they shout backwards and there is a figure that emerges from the silver gate kind of like the last one the last drow to emerge from the gate in this um final moment and um in a very practiced voice right um fluent but not used to the language this drow shouts out towards you bones he he says uh, yeah he says You will be punished for your transgressions against the Obsidian Matron. And that is where he just like points at you and the drow leap into action. So, um, immediately kind of rushing forward, you see one of the warriors marked as like an elite warrior steps forward, right? Um, You got to sell being hurt. You got to really sell it. Really sell it. Steps forward uh, and goes to make a slash at you with its short sword. Slishing. Slish you. The big miss. Um, 
you're easily able to dodge out of the way, and then it does, you know, a uh, back cut against you. 21. You're muted. I dodged out of the way. I said, who's that again? And then that one hits. And then that one hits. All right, so on the... Um, I need a constitution save. Do you have advantage against poison, right? Yeah. Yeah, so constitution saving throw at advantage, DC 11. 22. Yeah, so you succeed. So you take uh, half as much, but you also have resistance to poison damage, right? And so the helmet helmet makes him literally invincible. Yes, right. I, I get that, but I'm I'm totaling stuff in my head. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, this guy... I don't know. Fucking dwarf shit. This guy makes a cut against you, right? And it it's not like a, oh, he stabs you through the chest style wound, right? Like, that's not its not how combat in D&D generally works. So, the blow that would have hit you would have been more of like a graze across the arm or across like your upper chest or something like that, right? And you feel the connection of the blow, right? Um... But you also feel immediately after there, there's this kind of like little tingle um, and this almost kind of like slight burning, but then there's no pain afterwards. Man, I'm sick. You do anything. I act as if I was hit. Roll me a performance check. Pretty persuasive. Pretty good. That was persuasion, not performance, but I assume they're the same. Oh, yeah, they're the same. Okay. Damn, really? Oh, shit. So it's not the warrior that you are facing off against, right? The warrior feels the resistance as it cuts through your body. Um, and kind of like steps back out of out of reach, right? Like in in battle with you, right? It's not trying to pinpoint and stare at the wound, but but across the way, the individual that had been speaking kind of raises eyebrows in your general direction. Doesn't say anything yet, but just kind of like cocks an eyebrow at you quizzically. Um, and that is the end okay. of this individual's turn. Um, this one is going to step forward. Uh, and as he does, he will see more people behind. And he will shout and point down the hallway. Uh, yeah, but then he will move behind Bones. And attack with advantage. Man, I'd be real bad if I was not wearing the helm. That, that hits me. Okay. Uh, do you continue your act? Yes. Okay, roll a performance check. That's a six. <laughs> Um, not very good rolls from the uh, individual, but more than your performance. Uh, his eyes raise again, and he kind of like he kind of he kind of glares at you. And then there is a there is a robed figure standing next to him, um, and he kind of like leans over and speaks to that figure, and then gestures in your direction while you're engaged with these individuals. Um, <laughs> and then this guy is actually going because he's not going to try to present himself to the back he he steps back past Bones um, next to this other uh, so this one is going to basically do much the same step past try to stab Bones at advantage miss uh, that misses. and then step beyond um, and now we come to Ezra's turn. 
That's right, you're oh, right. Oh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> Get out of here. Gotta check one thing real quick. Damn, I can't do both. Okay. Hey, hey, really though, guys, who's the Obsidian Matron again? House Offrendar. I know, I'm fucking with them. Oh, you're saying you're saying that out oh, loud to okay. them? Wow, yeah, that's some uh, rude ass shit. Literally, who? Uh, Literally. So, Ezra is going to reach out and pat Matashtai. Oh, the house I'm gonna burn down. As he twins greater invisibility on himself and Matashtai. Man, I'm invisible. And after he finishes. Encanting in a a normal volume, he whispers, "Go get him." I'm gonna go get him. <laughs> okay. Uh, and then, oh, we're in your lantern. Never mind. That's a bad idea. I mean, <laughs> literally, I can just turn it off. That, okay. Yeah. I I, <laughs> I will trust that you're smart enough to do that. <laughs> so you see, your um, your like you hear the incantation that Ezra typically gives. And then there's this moment, right, where you see your form kind of flicker, but then it gets silhouetted by the light of the lantern. <laughs> yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. Let's <laughs> just little, little close that guy. Hey, doodles. On Whoopsie no, doodles. Much. All right, anything else for your turn, Ezra? Yep, that's all. All right, Ezra ducks back a little bit. Matashtai, you're up. Okay, I... I... Turn off the lantern. Okay. I don't recall. Was that action or free action? I have to uh, action. A, no, it's I'm, an action to light it, right? I have no idea. I think there was like, is a free action to shield the lantern. Uh, no, as an action, you can lower the hood, reducing the light on it. So I'm assuming at the same it's, function, it's an action to put it out it to my face and I blow on it. That's sure, sure. I get I get the concept that you're making fun of it, but it's not raise it to your face and blow on it because the flame isn't an open flame. Otherwise, it would go out all the goddamn time. You have to raise it up to your face and you have to open it well, up. I'm and focusing then you have the to... air at it past the shield. I'm like... <laughs> Like, it is a more involved process than just, you know. Put it in your bag of holding. I Goodness squirt water gracious. on it. Cover it with cloth. You guys now don't get to some... You don't get to complain about the functionality of this badass item that has been trivialized. I squirt water things. on it and walk in here. Okay. You squirt water on, her, on it and walk in here. Um, as you squirt water on it, or whatever it is that you do, your uh, the lantern goes out. The light emanating from the lantern, revealing things, goes out. And you and Ezra are immediately invisible, right? There's ghosts. As you step into the chamber... Um, the figure at the back, who's kind of like watching this whole scene play out imperiously, and the ro and the robed figure next to him, both track you as you walk into the room. Oh, and then Wait, which one's which one was it? The the, the two in the okay. back. Yeah, they they both okay. track you as you walk into the room. And then the one, the, the imperious looking one, uh, shouts out in Elven something. And Ezra, you can, you can hear uh, over the din of the fighting, right? You can hear an Elven voice kind of call out, Their invisible ones are here! Starts learning. Is that true sight or what the fuck? There's C invisibility, which is like a second level spell or something like yeah, that. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. All right, anything else for your turn, Matashai? Uh, no. Okay. I 
stand here, looking invisibly. All right. Uh, I'm not. This guy steps forward to Bones. And goes to attack. With I dodge. a short sword. Miss. Well, see, just, it's just like Pokemon. If you shout it Another out, you short do sword. It. You didn't shout dodge on the second one. That's true. I forgot. I wasn't fast enough there. So, so you do get hit by the uh, second one. And uh, as this happens, no performance required at this point. Uh, the Imperious One, again, there's another shout in Elvish, and Ezra, you hear, uh, you hear this voice call out, There's something wrong with the tabaxi. Ignore it for now. Rude, I'm not an it. And Bones, it's your turn. And to be fair, it doesn't know your pronouns. That's true. Um. Hmm. Um. Okay. I will. There's no way for me to snake if I move. That's really unfortunate. Because it's real unfortunate. What other fun stuff? You know, I can just fireball the room. Do I want to fireball the room? You still got, you still got your fireball? <laughs> well, I you don't. can detonate yourself and... I mean, you're likely not going to hurt yourself anyways. Evasion. Mm. Don't monks have evasion too? Yep. Yeah, we're all evasive until Jeremy breaks that. How am I going to break that? <laughs> Same way you take away my 15 level ability. You can't evade this thing. That's why I just... Everything in the end is just going to be some derivative of magic missiles. So it just absolutely hits. I mean, that would be... Mag magic missile fireballs. Three fireballs uh, home in. You cannot evade. Magic Honestly, rockets. Be... Magic torpedoes. Kind of cool. <laughs> magic nuclear warheads. I like how we're like eight fireballs, which you would have taken... Basically, no damage compared to the magic missiles that he actually got. The missiles were actually worse than eight fireballs. I think I'd be more impressed than anything else if that happened. Um, I'll just take careful aim and stab this guy in front of me. Okay. Uh, in um, front to the left or in front to the north? This one. Okay, gotcha. Sounds good. The, fir the first one to have at me. The first one to engage. Um... I don't have anything cool anymore, do I? Just dags. A cool shit. Yeah. Dab. 29. Jesus Christ. 29. Sneak Fucking attack. Christ. 30, 30 damage. 29. <laughs> Fucking A. Alright. Uh, so yeah, this... this Drow sees, right, has been appraised of there's something wrong with you. There's something up with you. So he and immediately I say, starts, Ooh, I'm a ghost! And starts I looking down the hallway you. like and the only other individual he can see is Ashes. So in that moment, you kind of like lunge and he tracks your movement and he tries to like fall into a defensive posture to fend you off. But you're just you're just too fast <laughs> You jump past his guard, stab him in the side, rip the wound out, or rip the dagger out. 30 damage. Uh, and then what What do you do? I want to whales this guy. You want to whales the big guy? I want um, to whatever. The one that looks different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so you, you send the whales of the grave to this creature, and you see him kind of like wince, and he kind of like puts a, uh, a, a hand to the side of his head as he does. And then he looks over at the robed figure, and you can see the robed figure uh, kind of like raises a, a, a hand to the temple, right? And just whispers something in the air. 
Anything else for your turn? Damn, they're gonna nullify the helmetness. And then I back right here. Okay. Turn over. Sounds good. Um, all right. This guy steps down this way. God bless everybody rolled so well in initiative. Well, they are, you know, drow. They have 800 decks. Eight, 800 decks. Almost as much as me. 800 Almost. decks. Wow, what the... I'm a low He's an amazing AC. This guy steps forward, um, and he takes aim at you, Ashes. Um, he's gonna fire a crossbow at you, but it is gonna be at disadvantage. Uh -huh. yeah. 11 will miss. 11 misses, and then he steps back slightly. And then it's your turn. Uh, alright. Immediately, I will choose to transform. Choose. Alright. Bonus action transformation. And I'm gonna... Oh, oh, I clicked weirdly. I'll go in here. Uh, I, I get an idea of the room. Okay. A lot more people than I expected. Uh... I mean, I'll just swing at the person in front of me. This is, the, if it matters to you, this is the one I damaged. Uh, this that one. might matter to me. Which one? This one? This one. This one? That one? Hmm. I'd have to put myself in a... Conspicuous location? Um... Oh, they are, they are all about to go again. <laughs> it's up to you, though. Well, the thing is, the way we're standing together... In fact, the way we're all standing currently perfectly right now, we cannot be playing. Love bug. Mwah. So, yeah, I think I'm going to stand right. here for now. We'll attack this uh, one. Put him in a box. Lippo. Look, he rolled a 30. You say my 29's a lot. Oh. Does a 15 hit, Jeremy? Uh, y Yes. Both the the thirty and the oh wait no 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 sorry who are you attacking you're attacking the one next to you a uh, thirty uh, hits the the yeah. fifteen does not hit okay so All eleven right. damage okay score a wound across this uh, individual he kind of like flinches back um, as you rush into the room as a werewolf right um, <laughs> but he doesn't seem surprised right he just kind of like instinctually flinches back um, and then tries to defend himself. Against yes, you. Yes, we were aware of the wolf. In turn? The cat and the dog we knew of. The frog, however. Really tempted to just run back there and fuck up the big, the, the important people. I was going to do that, but I couldn't sneak attack if I did that. Mm. Um, Jeremy, where's the portal in the room? Is it right where those two are? Yeah, it's right behind them. Okay. On the wall right behind them. Okay. Um, well... I assume they ashes. know how to activate it, too, so... You get probably your, shouldn't go kill them. You get your wish. Because uh, this oh. guy's just gonna come right the fuck up towards you. Um, so he moves here, north of you. Uh -huh. um, and as he does, he steps, as he is stepping into range, uh, or, or is just outside of your range, you see he has a rapier um, in one hand. And you see this kind of like ephemeral glint off of it. Okay. And then you see the other hand is kind of, he's kind of got this shoulder cape going on, right? Um, so the other hand is it? slightly hidden. And right as he approaches you, you see that other hand snake out. And there's this loud whack, crack um, 
as he snaps a whip. Whip crack when his whippy whip. But he snaps tail? it not at you. Um, this was done. Pardon? He hits the guy you just attacked. Like there's this snap next on on this guy's back, and there's this little shriek that that this elite warrior gives out. Um, just adulating his minions takes some damage. Uh, and you see this this just grin cross both of their faces. Damn. Um, what the fuck are you going on here? And I don't like it. Damn, he into it. I mean, that sounds pretty drow. And They're then all gonna fuck later. He lunges at you. Uh, the the house captain lunges at you. Um, tries to stab you with his rapier. With twenty six. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah, that'll do. Take 12 slashing damage. Do you have resistance to poison or anything I like have, that? You do, don't you? I have resistance, resistance to 90% of the damage types. Okay, okay so roll me a constant. Okay. Do you have resistance to poison and yeah, it, advantage on saving throws? It's actual poison resistance, so. But do you have both, though? Yeah, I have poison resistance from Infernal Constitution and. Resilient high gives me it's slashing. No, I'm, no. I'm, I'm verifying if it, it's the actual like poison. Yeah, I just need to know if you have advantage on poison saving throws. Because poison resistance will make you resistant to the poison damage, but the advantage will also give you the chance to resist it there. Uh, where is it? Oh god, it's way down here. Infernal Constitution. Infernal yep. Constitution. And saving throws. Yeah, awesome. So, uh, DC 11 Constitution saving throw at advantage. 17. Okay, so you succeed. So you would take half the poison, which would be 7, but then you're also resistant to poison, so you take half of that, so that would be 3 poison. Um, you also take the full 12 slashing, because the weapon is magical. Okay. Um, here. And then he stabs you again. The elite drow hit squad uh, hey, hopping roll through lower. portals. Say what? It said uh, roll lower. Roll, roll lower. Okay, I'll yeah. I'll keep that in mind. Um. Oh shit. I. Uh. No. No. Uh, I'm correct. Never mind. But uh, new 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 guy to play with. Sorry. N using using new stuff. Um. They're real cool though, aren't they? They're they're pretty neat. Yeah, um, hey, I want that rapier. As he steps forward for this second attack, you see his body. Something about him shifts, right? And it's almost as if this shadow wells up behind him, and the edges of your vision kind of tunnel in slightly and you you have a very odd sensation that you haven't had in a long long time you haven't had the sensation since training with in the the wood of sharp teeth right for for the order um you have this sensation of being prey for a moment right of being hunted um oh, am i feared and I need to swing at you. Does a 29 hit? No, Jeremy. A 29 does not hit. Okay, cool. So, so that's a good question, right? As he goes to attack you, right? There is this moment where you feel like you're going to intercept the blow. You go to like deflect right to defend yourself and it is almost as if he just kind of twists and that sadistic grin that he has across his face and the the yelp from uh his ally as he hit him kind of like rings in your ears and he just kind of twists and stabs through your guard that's cool Hork. okay so he hits 
as he hits. You take 10 slashing damage. Roll your resistance. Constitution. Everybody's favorite. 19. So a quarter of that. It's um, still poisoned? That's cool. How I, how I get that? How I get stuff to continue room? Oh, no, 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 you're right. You're right. It, it's uh, it's not poisoned anymore. That's my bad. Um, oh. So, uh, no longer poisoned. I'm excited to get that. So it's just 10 slashing damage. Um... On top of that, though, you take an additional five damage. Um, his blade just seems to strike very deep in this particular situation. Um, and I need you to roll me a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. I feel a little bit more confident about this. Oh, That's yeah, yeah. You you hey, blow no. it out of the pool. You blow it out of the water. The DC is uh, a... 14. Um, so you are very good. You 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 realize what is happening, right? Like there is some there is something mystical or magical or or primeval that this individual is using that he's trying to instill fear in you, right? Um he's trying to play with your mind, he's trying to fuck with your head. Um and you're able to kind of like call back to the training that you've had with the order and you know honestly the training against the things that you deal with um to just calm your emotions and not buy into the situation um mm -hmm. and and as that happened he kind of pulls back and he smiles at you and he sees that you're not affected right and he just kind of gives you this again shit-eating grin and as he does you you kind of like you give this kind of like waggle he just barks something in Elvish, and the guy immediately to the to the left of you, the guy that had been hit by the whip, lunges in and, and attacks you from the side. What the fuck? Uh, nineteen. I think that misses you. Uh, I will use oh. my uh, reaction. Oh and shit! Give uh, Teresa's fall a flourish. And oh, that that's will pump my AC just enough. That's so yeah, fucking that's gonna, rude. That, that's gonna piss them off. Yeah, one of them. One of them sees that, and there's this kind of like yeah, slight I have to call recognition out my name specifically for who these people are. Right, my lady. <laughs> my lady. Oh, there's some bad juju there. All right. Uh, so this this uh, warrior. Ooh, sorry. Um, it should be at advantage. It's a miss. So never mind. Uh, so he misses. It's all good. Uh, okay. That is the end of his turn. All right. Ah, uh, fuck. The robed figure steps slightly over. Raises his hand and begins to chant. I assume he is out of my line of sight. Yeah, you can't see him. Then, yeah. Um, and as that happens, fuck me. As that happens, um, a green wall shimmers sorry it's a green wall a green wall shimmers pinning Matashtai in the corner cutting behind bones and ashes and sealing the door uh oh <clears throat> pretty cool Probably cool. less than ideal. This this greenish, slightly transparent wall. I respect it. It's cool. How how tall is the wall? Uh, it goes up to the ceiling. You are trapped in the corner. Okay. All right. Perfect. I like it. 
Uh, and then this guy tries to shoot ashes. Because why not? That's an 11. Big yeah. <laughs> whiff. Okay. Uh, at the top of the round, um, with this wall in place, the kind of uh, imperious individual uh, calls out and says again in that practiced but not um, like fluent, practiced but not uh, uh, not something that he uses frequently, um, common. He says, I am going to enjoy this. Our queen has overestimated you. And this guy steps to engage. As he does, you see uh, a, his wrist flick and a little vial pop into his wrist. And as a bonus action, he catches it and tosses it along his blade. Um, ah. coating, recoating his blade in poison. Uh, that's normally an action, sir. It is normally an action, except these are House Avrindar elites, and they can do it as a bonus action. Because they've trained their entire lives to do this. So they got, and, like, a Assassin's Creed hidden blade container, yeah, basically. like, just yep. for the vial. Ching! <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so this one... With the orders that they have been given, this one goes to stab you, Ashes, because they've been told to ignore the cat. That is yeah. a miss. And then second attack. That is also a miss. Oof. The well, dice. I'm going to have to rely on a little bit of that. Okay. I'm already starting to get a little hurt. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, this guy is going to uh, fire a crossbow bolt at you ashes miss yep. and then he actually shifts up um into a almost guarding position around the mage uh this guy fires a bolt at you as well 24 it'll do okay so you take four no you, you take two piercing damage because okay. these are not magical um, and I need a DC 13 constitution saving throw at advantage. Oh, first one's a four. <laughs> wow, that's a one and a 20. <laughs> okay. Uh, woo, for advantage. Sometimes it do be that way. Well, sometimes it do be that way. Yeah. Uh, so that was a resistance against the, the normal drow poison. So if you had failed that bad, you would have just dropped unconscious. Um, cool. Fantastic. Yep. Glad that's on the table. Absolutely. Uh, and then this guy moves up and again falls into a more defensive position around the mage. Uh, Ezra, you see a translucent green wall go up across the entryway. And I have no idea what this green oh, wall roll me is. Roll Arc Arcana check. An Arcana. An Arcana. Eleven. Mm. Not particularly. Um, the heat of the moment does heat not give you a moment. good opportunity to think clearly or straight about Could this. Be, do from just a quick standpoint, does it look like green flames? No, no, it looks solid. Mm. Six. Does anything happen as I move closer to it? Uh... The only thing that happens as you move closer to it, um, no, no, nothing happens as you move closer to it. All right, then I am going to target this back fellow with a uh, chill touch. Okay. Ooh, nice. Wow. So. You did the wonderful, wonderful specifications. 
Um, a spectral hand appears next to this individual and just rakes down across him, um, scoring deep wounds on him. Uh, he's kind of taken by surprise, right? Like, not expecting this attack, and it just cuts him to the bone, and he just shrieks. Anything else? Nope, that's the end of my turn. Matashta, it's your turn. Okay. Um, so I'm pinned no in the corner with the wall board. that goes to the ceiling. Um, and you said it looks solid? Look, seems solid. Okay. I poke you with my spear. I mean, are you making an attack against it, or are you just, like, tap-tapping? Sure, I'll, I'll make an attack against it. Poke. Okay. You you square off against this, uh, this transparent green wall and just slam into it, and the thing just... It just... Ching, your, your spear just slides right off of it. Doesn't leave an indentation, doesn't leave a scratch, nothing. Anything else crazy I could use? Um, I punch it. Maybe bludgeoning is different. Solid punch. There's this thud, and you just hurt your hand. Cool. Cool. Um, okay. Look in the bag of holding. See if I got anything fun. Um, not shit at all. Um, I pour some water on it. It just flows off. Okay. Well, it's uh, about as much as I can do. I I will say that there is, though it is small, there is an arrow slit leading outside on your side of the wall. Can I fit through it? You would have to squeeze through it. It'd basically be hard to, to squeeze through. And then you would be perched on the outside of the miniature castle several hundred feet up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I got spider boots, though. What's the point of oh, that's true. Boots? You do have spider boots. So, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to squeeze through them. Like... Okay. Uh, how much movement do you have in total? 50. 50. Roll me an acrobatics check. Your DC is going to be... Tricks. That wasn't going to be that high, I'll tell you that. Okay. Um, you're able to slide into this arrow slit and squeeze out of it. And then you're kind of like precariously perched for a moment uh, on the edge of this arrow slit um, leading out into black open expanse and the reason it's precarious right is it's trying to get trying to get your boots to the point to where you actually can you know get feet on to something and and then stick and so you do that and then you can see there are two more slits further down so remind me how much movement did this take to get here uh this would have taken maybe a quarter or so of your movement the, the uh, acrobatics check is to see, like, how long it takes you to squirm back through. So, in theory, if you succeed on another acrobatics check to squirm into one of those, you could probably get in back into the room this turn. Or you can wait on the outside of the, the castle this turn. Um, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm 
uh, squeeze back in. Roll me another acrobatics check to, to see if you squirm in without any issue or whether or not it basically, like, gets you halfway stuck in there. You well, see it's 16. Mm. Yeah, you're, you're, you're too wily. You're too lithe. You, you basically, you realize you're trapped in the, uh, in the box that you've been put in. You see the arrow slit. You run over to it basically like slide out of the castle uh clamber over to the next arrow slit and squeeze in which is kind of a weird process That's but you like do it prince of persia right so odie stop touching stop fortunate i had a touch. what are you doing step drow joke for if he didn't make it back <laughs> if he didn't make it back absolutely <laughs> absolutely um but you do but that that will basically eat up all of your movement um, is squeezing through yeah. those narrow spaces and clambering across the side and then squeezing back through another narrow space. So. I have squoes. Okay, you have squoes. Um, is there anything else for your turn? Woes. Is that the I end of it? I think I've used all of my things that I can use on Sounds my Sounds good. As you come back through, right, uh, you're again, your your appearance is noted. Um, and there's some shouts in your general direction, some points from the mage and the house captain. Um, uh, anything else? Oh, sorry, not anything else. You already said any. So moving on, next guy. Uh, this guy is going to try. Uh, he also bonus action douses his blade in poison, um, and then goes Damn. to stab you, ashes. 22. I've already used my reaction, so that's going to hit. Okay, so these are not magic weapons. So this one is four piercing damage, and I need a DC 11 constitution saving throw. You didn't get your shield on? What the fuck's wrong with you? Uh, n Well, no, because when I have lichen, I have claw claw. I can't have a shield as well. Just, it, it counts as having a shield in your hand. Have a shield. Why wouldn't you have your shield on the turn you transform though? Never mind. 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 You good? All right. You succeed, uh, meaning you would reduce that to five, and then further reduce it down to two. So you take four piercing and two poison. Take it. Um, and there is some there's some slight annoyance going on between the drow. It's it's obvious at the fact that you have not fallen yet, um, but but they don't seem surprised. Uh, bone drop, fireball. Okay, fireball in the that circle. Okay, yeah. See your health under that token. It's a twelve. It's not a fifteen. I don't know why I keep saying that. Well, gotcha. Um, okay. The DC 12. That's a shitty wand. I was it just clarifying. Uh-huh, so we've got a whole bunch of people need to make some saves. So we've got four regular degular drow. Regular degular. We got one, two, three, four. I okay. expect they all make it, but save. You know. Wow. That was really well rolled. Uh we have an elite warrior. Air drow. A bunch of 14 damage going around, yep. Exit. Um, also clips the house captain. Makes it. And then... Uh, hits the mage. That is uh that was private, uh, but that was a five, so that is a failure. E. 
Okay, so half damage is 14. Yeah. Okay. Um, the detonation sounds out, and um, you know, there's this uh, wave of fire that rips through several of the drow, uh, still causing quite a bit of damage, even though they are. Um, kind of like on edge, kind of like a aware of it and able to try to like throw themselves out of the way. It still hurts quite a few people. Um, the only individual that is not really able to throw themselves out of the way is the mage. But as the fire kind of like washes over him, you see this tint of kind of like blue glint off of him. And while he takes the damage, he does not seem to take full damage. Blue, okay. Um, but then he will take a concentration check. And he fails. Nice. Bye -bye and wall. The, the green wall goes bye-bye. Right after Matt took all the time to squeeze. The yeah, goddamn right arrows, after. <laughs> Feels good, man. Look. Is uh, we had is. no way of knowing that was going to happen. If you hadn't done that, he'd have kept that forever. It's Yeah, yeah. entirely possible. Anyways, we would have found out that it's not a concentration wall. It just exists now. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else for your turn, Bones? That's what I can do. Okay, gotcha. Um, all right. This guy... Uh... Cox, his crossbow, oh, yeah, and cocket. fires towards ashes. Oh, cock it. Oh, Things. yep. Oh, put it in um, your hand. And oh, then he working. kind of moves back slightly. Uh, ashes, you're up. All right. Yeah, whatever. Both those chick doesn't matter. I'm, I'm immortal. Uh, first off, time to light up them claws. Uh, Damage myself by a value of six. Value of six. Great. Fantastic. All right. And now I'll look to Mr. Whippy Man here and... Whippy Man. Oh. 14. Uh, he is easily able to defend himself. All right. And claw again. 31. No. Why is there no in-between with you fucks? It's always no. either, nah, that's definitely not going to hit, or, dear lord or... Jesus, it's 30. Yep. The uh, fuck? Well, I mean... Uh, yeah, the 30 hits. Okay. All right. Um, uh, uh, devastating 13 damage this this okay. turn. 13 damage. He, he kind of growls out in annoyance at you. Um... Okay. Uh, if that is the end of your turn. It is. He is going to. Um, try to kill. Um, you see, uh, he doesn't even, you don't even see a flick of his wrist, right? There's just suddenly a stream of green down his rapier. <laughs> and then he goes to attack you again. Okay. But first. But wait, there's more. Hmm. Uh, but first, he cracks his whip again. Um, at the guy right to your left. Um, hits, does some damage, 
Uh, there is a howl from this individual, and then um, a almost like a look of elation that crosses both of their faces. So uh, weird. And then he lunges at you with advantage because he's sadistic. So if I'm sadistic, do I get advantage? I don't know. Maybe let's follow that path and see where it goes. Please no. So it's I can't. A 23. Okay. Uh, so you take 10 slashing damage, and I need you to roll the constitution saving throw. You are good. You take one poison damage. And the is that magic? Yeah. Well, so yeah, 10, 10 magic slashing and one poison. And then he goes to stab you again. Again, you have that kind of like focus in where your vision shifts and you, you realize, right, he's trying to frighten you again. So he is going to attack again at advantage. 28. That'll do. Uh, 14 without the poison plus another four. So 18 magic slashing damage. Uh, and I need you to roll a DC 14... Wisdom saving throw. Four. All right. Yeah, you, it's just not gonna happen. You're, you, you might, you might very well die to this man, but you're not gonna be afraid of him. It's not. It's looking like it. So. Um. Okay. That is the end of. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. Uh, he barks at the guy to your left again, and that guy steps forward and tries to stab you. Twenty-three. Uh, no poison on his because he already hit you with poison last turn. You can't reapply it yep. on the same thing. Um, uh, yeah. So it's just two piercing damage because you're because it's not magical. All right. Taken. That is the end of his turn. Um. Uh. This guy. He shifts over slightly, um, calls out, and to another wall of green rises up, this time trapping just ashes in with the rest of the drought. Mark. Uh, and that is the end of his turn. Uh, and this guy is going to shoot at Ashes. 18 misses, I'm believing. I believe. 18 does, in fact, miss. Okay. That is the end of that. Uh, this guy is going to try to stab you. He uses a bonus action to apply his poison. Uh, 26. Yep. This is not a magic weapon, so you take three piercing and need to make a DC 11 constitution saving throw. Didn't advantage it, but it, it's I say. Yeah, you're still good. Um, okay. So you reduce that nine down to With four and three. then resist it further down to two. So three piercing and two poison. I take five. Um, and then he will try to stab you again. 24 does hit four piercing. No poison. It's already applied. Okay. Minus four. Uh, this guy shoots a crossbow at you. Misses. This guy shoots a crossbow at you. Misses. And we're to Ezra. Ezra, you see that wall of green go back up. And Ashes is looking really fucking hurt on the other side of it. I gotta tell you, Jeremy, of all the things we're gonna find in this tiny castle, I did not think Avrindar Drow 
was going to be one of them. Very, very surprising. Surprise! Although, I... I like to think that uh, you didn't find them, they found you. Fuck me. Sure, why the hell not? Ezra's going to picture in his mind a space that's about 25 feet away from him in that room as the spot for him to cast Ice Storm. Okay. Which, oh, that didn't pop... Uh, so it's a 20-foot radius, 40-foot high column that pelts ice down. Sure. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to place it just outside of Ash's range while hopefully hitting those who are engaged with him uh, up in this area. Also, I mean, like, you could put it all the way in the corner. Uh, if it's a 20-foot radius, um, it will hit... Well, I'm trying to make sure it hits the guys that are right. Oh, you want to hit the guys that are right next to him? Gotcha. Okay, yeah. so yeah, I mean, if you hit... Oh, I could potentially shift it one over. If yeah. you put it exactly where my fireball was, it'll hit everyone but this guy. Yep, I that's deleted true. the thing, but... Yeah, because that's a 20-foot radius as well. Uh -huh. And you can you can see that guy. So, I mean, you could, you could put oh, it on that space. Oh, I can actually yeah, you can see you can oh, see this I, guy. I was working off of a spell that I uh, didn't need line of sight. <laughs> yeah, 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 you can see the the wall of forces is th it's transparent. The, the, the what? The what? The wall of. I mean, if you haven't figured it out by this point, yeah. you're never figuring it out. But it's yeah. it's transparent. Like it's you can see through it. It's just. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so a storm of ice. Helps down. That's okay. 30 okay. save for okay. all who are targeted. Half damage if they succeed. And the ground becomes difficult terrain. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, so we got four drow that are going to make this save. We've got one fail, two fail, three fail, four fail. They used all their shit on the fireball. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's uh, let's go through this. It's six bludgeoning and thirteen cold. Nineteen uh, damage total. If they this don't... guy dies, nineteen damage. Yep, nineteen damage. This guy survives. This guy survives, and this guy survives. Though they are pretty fucked up by that. Um, we get this guy and this guy. Wow. Okay, so the Wait. first one takes the 19 of the second one. There we go. Big oof. Uh, then we have oh, this guy. Does not have advantage. Does not have advantage. Fail takes the 19. Um, and then the mage seats ah. takes a wee bit and then makes a concentration and succeeds on that concentration check. So the wall of force stays up. All right. All right. Well, uh, Ash, you did. Roll a new character. So uh, a whole host of uh, sleet and ice and hail just rain down in that room, and it it fucks some people up. It really does. Uh, but it's not quite enough to to take down the 
the group of uh, angry hunting drow. Anything else for your turn, Ezra? No, sir. Uh, back a little bit. That's about it. Ezra, you do hear uh, one of the drow kind of yell out in Elven, "We've got to take care of that fucking sorcerer." What sorcerer? Where? Um, and it's Matashai's turn. Uh, is it? You're muted. You're muted. I climb out the window <laughs> is again. It, is it outside to electric Back boogaloo? Okay, gotcha. Uh, yeah. Roll me an acrobatics check twice. Flat, flat. Okay. You succeed on both. You make it back. Hey, do I have any movement left? You have no movement left, but you haven't used any actions or bonus actions. Yeah, but I can't fucking reach anyone. Um, Bonus action dash. Um, I'm going to pull out the Staff of Healing. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's the only thing I can do. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to mass cure wounds the party. Anyone who's missing HP. So ashes. Flat. 14 HP. That uh, might give me enough to take one more uh, turn before I perish. Um. Thank you. Seems unlikely. Make at least make them work for it. Are you thinking, Jeremy? I am thinking. If he can, does he? And I kill <laughs> Jay still. No, it's it's um I'm trying to decide how I want to rule this. Because by by the ruling of the or by the wording, it makes me feel like I can do this, but it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. Um, do so it. the wording wording of staff of healing is is while holding it, you can use an action to expend one or more of its charges to cast one of the following spells from it. And if you're casting oh, so a spell, see, can I counter spell this? Yeah. If you're casting gotcha. a spell, can this mage try to counterspell you? Yeah, absolutely. I'm pretty sure Why not. Yeah. So, um, I mean, so sucks, but yeah. I, you I go, you go to raise the staff, and as you do, the mage raises its hand, and um, what's the level? Of, you're doing master wounds, though, or master? Uh, that's fifth level, then. Fifth level. Okay, so. He, he has to roll. He will have to roll, yeah. And it the DC is 10 plus the spell level, right? Yes. So 15. Yes. So. Oh. He counters your spell. Dope. Dope. Okay. Cuckoo. Like, I see him raise the wand. I'm like, yes. Shower me with that. Oh, where's it? Where's oh, it? That, <laughs> where's the healing? That feels bad, man. <laughs> okay, all right, that was a thing. Um, anything else for your turn, Matashta? Uh, no, I don't have anything else. Gotcha. Uh, this guy is going to. He this guy doesn't see any of that because only the mage and the house captain can see. Can see Matash die. So the rest of the drow are oblivious to this. Um, so he just stays tucked in and starts stabbing at uh, Ashes. And this will be. Oh, here we go. Will be it for him. Um, he flexes his wrist. A, a vial of poison shoots out. Coats the sword, short sword. He stabs. 
19. I uh, I'm going to use my reaction. <laughs> okay. To flourish the cape. Okay. Carissa's fall. Cape cape takes the blow. Second attack. 11. Yes. Just a clear miss. Easily able to just shove him aside. All right. Bones, you're up. Well, Matt's invisible. So I'm like, I wonder if I can fit through those arrow slits. <laughs> yeah, you haven't. <laughs> none, none of you have seen Matt's journey of going through these fucking arrow slits. They that's just, that's just been gone. Actually, Every actually. Every once in a while, you just hear, fuck! Since in your the mind. lantern <laughs> light went out, you guys have not seen Matashtai in this fight. True. I wouldn't have even known about this magic I wasn't able to be healed by. <laughs> uh, what, you you don't have sea invisibility, do you, Ezra? So, no, oh, I'm saying Ezra. they haven't seen me either. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. But that's that's seemingly typical of Ezra. Wow. Here. Wow. Is, this a, is the wall blocking out light, too? Uh, no, you can you can see beyond. It's kind of translucent. Um, it's just this kind of um, glassy, almost kind of like a Coke bottle style, kind of like greenish glass. The light goes through it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, are you gonna try to you gonna try to do the the thing in the Like a gem of brightness, like beams of light would go through it. I mean, in theory. I don't want to go through the arrow slits. <laughs> yeah, whatever. All of my death, we're all dead anyway. Um, five, ten, fifteen. I'm, I'm squeeze through. Okay, can't make, dash. make me an acrobatics check. Yeah, okay. I can't. I, what's the DC? Uh, DC is sixteen. I can't fail. You can't fail. <laughs> okay. All right, he can't fail. Uh, DC is sixteen. My lowest, my lowest possible roll is twenty-four. Gotcha. You would, you would need to cat dash to because you were slightly further away. Um, and it does just eat up movement trying to like squeeze through and everything like that. So you would need yeah. to cat dash or, or regular dash to get back into the castle. Fine, that, makes sense to me. Is that what you want to do? Okay, gotcha. So you're you're out on the outside for a second. Um, and as you are out there, because of your freakishly high passive perception, you hear the beating of wings. Sweet, beat me, daddy. Fucking <laughs> And then you're I'm back saying, not through. Not now, not now, not now. And you, as you're trying to scramble out of the arrow slit, you bump into something. Okay. Say move. I can't. <laughs> you, you're able to squeeze past. I'm just, I was just trying to see if there was any interaction between the two of you of like a, hey, I'm here, you know, type scenario. Um... But okay, yeah, you squeeze through. I mean, that's what there. I say in his mind. I say, I can't. Fair enough. You could, you chose not to. You could have. All right. Uh, um, okay. I'm here. I made it. So that was your movement and your cat dash. Anything else? Dash. Yeah, I got fucking bonus action and action. Yeah. Um, any of these motherfuckers look hurt? These well, guys? All of them look hurt. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. Hurt. Um, the, the two elite warriors are pretty banged up at this point. You would consider them bloody. The, the house captain and the mage, not so much. Um, if they're bloody, they're wearing their wounds very well. Okay. I'm gonna yeah, and then the, the rest of the drow, the, the ones that are still standing, they're barely standing. Alright. I'll whip a dag at this one first. Uh, dag. at normal. Diggity dag. Um... Well, hope that they don't steal my shit, so I'm just going to do it anyway. Whoop. 20. 20. 20. Snake deck. Son of a bitch. Oh, I hate the wording on that. I hate the wording on that. I will I will need to potentially alter the wording on that in the future. <laughs> they can't They can't parry a ranged attack. They can only parry a melee attack. <laughs> Oh, it would have been so cool if they're, like, knocking the dagger out of the air, you know? Um, Whales. So, the 20 hits. I'll just stop one. You do 27 yep. to the first one. That kills him. So, the dagger just takes him in the back of the throat. 
right? And then you wail on the other one, and he kind of like clutches his head and cries out in pain. Um, anything else? I, I will take a token from the dead man. Token from uh, the dead that man. Cost, cost me absolutely nothing to do, and I want it. Um, and then I will uh, sharpshoot this one with a regular dag. Regular dag. Um, regular dag. Regular dag. I'll sharpshoot this button. Uh, it's a 19 to hit. Um, 19 hits. 13 damage. 13 damage. Very nice. That's um, my turn. Ah, skill, yes! Oh, it's perception, sorry. Um, there's some shouting in in Elven, and uh, Ezra, you hear a very, you hear a, a kind of weird phrase. Um, you hear, that's one of the daggers, grab it! Okay. Um, I quit. I quit the game. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, this guy is dead, and it's Ashes' turn. Right, Ashes, you're alive! Now... You, First you survived that round! Yup. Yup. I'm just doing something real quick. Don't mind me. I don't lose you're it. You're okay. fine. So I am you now a fine. cornered animal, bloodied and beaten on death's door. Yeah. The only thing I can see through my tunnel vision is this piece of shit in front of me. Okay. 18. Uh, against two? The piece of shit in front of him. Oh, well, I mean, there are two people. Sorry. Uh, an 18 uh, would hit, accepting that he will use his reaction to parry your blow, boosting right. his AC up to a 21 for this attack. That's unfortunate. That was a really good roll. 19. Ooh. All right, then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I like mm -hmm. the damage of the other one better. Well, then. Okay. I can't do That'll anything about that. 16 damage. 16 damage. He has to take it. And anything else? Another 10. Oof. My goodness. All right. He's starting to look a little beat up, a little banged up. All right, fuck it. You know what? I mean, I can either sit here and die, or I could try to back up and get some reinforcements and die in the process. So, um, you get two opportunity attacks. Go ahead. No, I don't. Oh, I, yeah. get, I get one, one opportunity, opportunity attack that. because he's already used his reaction to to try to defend against you. Yeah. Um. So this guy will uh, attack with his short sword. Eighteen. Yes. Okay. AC is nineteen. You are able to extricate yourself from the corner. All right. Well, that'll be in turn. Okay. Uh, this guy follows you doggedly. Just sprints, does almost kind of like Naruto dash across the room, right, type scenario. And he gets about here, right? And then he lunges the last little bit of, of the way towards you. Um, and he will make an attack pretty cool um wait i have not used my reaction yet oh, so this, this is this turn. dude's turn right yeah this is his turn all right um, i'm just gonna so anything I can, I'm, before I'm using you my do reaction. it before you do anything else right yeah. as he goes past the the one drow his whip flicks right um uh and he actually misses so never mind. Okay, cool. Is he close? Uh, all right, uh, and well. now he's now he's lunging at you. Yeah. Okay. Well, 
bonus action, or not bonus action, uh, reaction, Blood Crystal okay. Eyeless. Absolutely. Um, and, and now I, that, so it's, uh, you can amplify it, but I could literally kill you myself. You could kill yourself if you it. tried to amplify it. Yeah, so, absolutely. I'm not. Okay. Um, he is going to lunge at you with his rapier. The big miss. Yes. Um, and then... Fuck it. Why not? He's gonna... He's gonna lunge at you a second time. Twenty-six. Okay. Here we go. Reduced by... One. Twenty-five. It hits... The lowest possible roll. That tracks. You take seven slashing damage, and no matter what you roll on your poison check, you will take one poison damage. As that poison damage reduces you to zero hit points, you crash to the ground stable but your body immediately goes rigid and is paralyzed I also revert to my normal form from dropping to zero gotcha okay um and then this guy uh, moves back up. How far did he move? He moved here. Moves back up here. Um. Okay. At least my body is not where literally they can just move five feet and take take turns stabbing me. I mean, most of them can. That's fair, I suppose. Step, step, step. Well, no, they have to move like 20 feet to do that now. Yeah. It's great. <laughs> um, Matash Tie Boats. What? You oh, see. Yum. Um, the wall dissipates and the mage vanishes just crawl through the goddamn wall okay. stupid mages heard that <laughs> and uh, this guy is going to fire an arrow at uh, bones uh, and yeah, that is a hit. crit it hits, seems to puncture, and then just kind of like falls out of you. I'm punctured. Um, the uh, the house captain yells at yells at you and points. Um, he yells something in Elven. Ezra. He yells, drag him to the ground. Um, and then we're back at the top of the turn. And just bite my own tongue. this guy runs at you uh, and tries to grapple you. I need you to make a athletics or acrobatics check. 12. You are too wily. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, this guy... I think they have to natural 20 to drag me to the ground. That's entirely possible. Uh, this guy goes running up, and as he does, right, there is a, a cry and a point from the house captain. Um, and then this guy turns, cocks his hand crossbow, and just 
fires at the wall. Um, Which wall? Matt's wall? Matt's wall! Matt, does 17 hit you? Nope. Just tings off the wall, and then he, then he looks back at the house captain and kind of like shrugs like... Throw it back at eh? him. Throw it back at him. I can't. I have to deflect it to throw it. Can't you so, catch it anyway? No, you fucking completely missed. Like, <laughs> yeah, he just completely missed. Um, this guy runs down and gets similar instructions and tries to do the same thing. Ten. Yes. Yeah, Ezra, you're up. All right. Oh, you have uh, to be hit. Fuck. And they can just do it whenever. Nope. Seeing that the wall of force has uh, dissipated. As soon as you step in the doorway, mm -hmm. uh, the house captain, like, clocks you and turns and points and yells. Cool. Uh, then I am going to burn a sorcery point and subtly cast a spell. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Damn, the man's as, Ooh. as I look right at this house captain, and chain lightning his ass. Nice. Very nice. And then it bounces three times, I believe. 17 times. 17 times. Uh, 17 is a lot of times. Yeah, I picked actually... seven. Can I have seven? Can I have seven bounces? Seven bounces? Oh, no. Well, yeah, I'll De <laughs> Definitely not seven bounces. Absolutely uh, not. Uh, it's going to bounce off, and it's going to go to the three guys furthest away from him. So the uh, elite warrior that's fighting bones, and the two, I assume, normal dro that are stacked on top of each other. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Okay, dexterity saving throws. Um... There's only one dexterity saving throw here that matters. That is the house captain. The, mm -hmm. the others are... Yeah, uh, that was a little bit of damage. Just did regardless. But that... That's probably a save. That is a save. So this... There's just this immense surge of electricity. Like, everyone feels the hair on their bodies just spike up. Um, and then there's just this crackling jolt of energy that fires out of Ezra without warning, hits the drow house captain. He kind of like tries to throw himself to the side, but it still impacts him. And then it arcs away from him and just obliterates, leaves blackened smears of the other three that it hits. Oof. That's 28 damage uh, is the half okay. amount Oof. that you would think. You, you hear him, like, he throws himself out of the way as much as he can, um, and he, he just cries out in pain. Um, but then you hear him kind of just uh, cackle, just laugh um, maniacally. And uh, he calls out in Elvish, kind of like in your direction, Ezra, as you can like flee further down Great. the hall. Oh. Right? He calls out towards you. He says, <laughs> My queen, she will have fun playing your flesh. And, and he coughs and sputters, right? Um, and then uh, he just... He just like holds up a hand, the the hand that's holding the rapier, right? Um, and you're you kind of fled, so you can't see this. But he just kind of holds it up, and he he just smiles, and he says, "And I will enjoy being there to watch." Um, Bones and Matashtai, you can see this guy is missing a pinky. Damn, sick. Oh, um, and it's like it's it's recent, like it's bandaged, um, and, and, and bloodied. 
we involved in that somehow? I we? No. don't recall. Probably like growing another one of them or some shit. Atashtai, you're up. There's not much um, up in the room left, though. Kind of Stunning. unfortunate. That... You ain't stunned the house captain yet? True, but then I can't heal. What's his nuts? He's fucking stable. Uh, I do have decides a to make him not so. True. He's Why also not? paralyzed for... Oh, right. Because I... The one point of poison damage. The one point of poison damage actually reduced you to zero. That's the important part. So that puts me in a very specific state. Yeah, it puts you. It puts you. In, it's a. It's spider poison. So it's basically like you. You've just been spider cocooned, basically. Yeah, has got her food. Yeah. And since this guy died, I can't hit anything to gain two heals. I, can I mean, heal you once. could hit yourself or hit bones. <laughs> Just... Don't hit me. <laughs> sorry, oh, no, I'm clearing sorry, the room. Yeah, you can hit me. Hit Just me. Oh, wait, yeah, I can't hit you. I'm going to whap you. Back of the head. <laughs> I'm going to crack you upside the head with my stat. Bop, it doesn't. The uh, that is so jank, Bop. but it doesn't say anything otherwise. It doesn't say that it has to deal damage. It just says that you have to attack someone. I then use Flurry of Blows, and I use both as Hand of Healing on Ashes, mm -hmm. yep. and when I apply Hand of Healing, I also use Physician's Touch. Like, ow, you and, fuck, it still hurts! And I clear the poison status, or well, so, here's the question. It's You're a clearing poison- Clearing the poison status paralyzed. removes the paralysis, yes. Okay, okay. Then I remove his poison status. He is paralyzed by the toxin, the venom in his veins. Okay. And then I hit him with a second heal. Nice. Very nice. Bop. Uh, bop, bop. I, <laughs> well, I mean, I'm, I'm not actually getting up. Well, not but, yet, you but, know, you know. Because I'm prone. And then oh. I'm gonna go stand right here. Oh, I do it again. Okay. Uh, this guy is dead, and it's Bones' turn. Bones' turn. E ah, Bones' turn is here. Just a little bit. E ah, just a little bit more. Mm. Nice. I don't remember if that's the actual next <laughs> thing in the song, but whatever. Look, we're all just ad-libbing here. I try my best. How, how hurt the house captain now? Uh, he looks pretty fucked up. Like, like he was already taking a beating at the point that Ezra launched lightning through his body. We're gonna need to see that, uh that invisible guy I mean if the portal hadn't reactivated yet right it should be fine it hasn't no is my dagger still on the ground the invisible guy go and take my dagger uh your dagger is still buried in the guy next to Matashtai alright in the back of his neck Gary, real talk, if I throw my good daggers, they're going to take them. If you've made arch enemies with a group and they are slowly but surely learning what your capabilities are and what your tactics are, yeah, absolutely, there's the chance that they might try to take your magical items, the things that you use to repeatedly kill them. Yes. Oh, that upsets me. Now, your basic generalized enemies, no, absolutely not. But repeat drow houses that you've killed, you know, a hundred of? Yeah. They're getting the pissed. They're kind of annoyed at this point. You haven't killed a hundred. 
Maybe not a hundred. We let her daughter live. It's not our fault she's incompetent. You actually let two daughters live. You're damn right. You just also killed three others. No, three. And I'm wearing what? one on my shoulder. Yeah. Three? Two, right? There was the three on the orc level, hobgoblin level, and then there was the one on the next level, right? Maybe it was just four. four Maybe it's total. two dead, two alive. Or two two dead, two let go, one oh, For not sure alive. dead. We don't know about the other one. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to stick a dagger in him and then run. Oh, yeah, no, you, it's it's four daughters and one son. She had a son? Yeah. yeah. The guy that four had daughters? the chimera was the son. Oh, uh, well, I had no way of knowing that. Yeah, you, you, no, you guys didn't. You never, you never really got that opportunity. Oh, no. Oh, no, indeed. All right, well, what you doing, Bones? Everything, Jeremy. Um, I want to fucking throw a dag at him. But I'm going to take care of him. The house captain? Yeah, the house captain. Okay. But only a normal dag, because my friend is going to take it and run away. And piece of shit. Um, carefully. Bow dag, normal. Um, for 27. <laughs> Sneak dag. <laughs> There is no in between. Uh, whale, whale grave, to the other little small one. Uh, the house captain is holding up his rapier, right? Um, Matashtai kind of like moves into the doorway, guarding, de preventing him from potentially chasing Ezra down the hall, right? Um, him being one of the only individuals that can actually see. Um, and as he begins to drop the rapier and move to kind of like attack Matashtai, there's this thwip. And a dagger oh, takes him in the eye and he just crumples. And the whales of the grave make the drow next to him bleed from the eyes, ears, and nose, and he falls as well. I'll take those tokens as well. Put some back <laughs> up to max tokens. Gotcha, gotcha. All right. Anything else for I your turn? Go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Stand over my dagger. Okay. No, free item interaction. Get my dagger. Okay, dagger dagger got. Um, Ashes, you're up. I'm mad. I know he's invisible. I don't know where he is. I remember him walking a little bit to the right. I take my horns, I level them down, and I run for the wall here. Okay. Do I catch him on the path there? You do not. <laughs> You you kind of like bull rush into yep. and, and I'll like right before you're like, oh, I'll be like oh, uh. <laughs> yeah. nice. All right, that's okay. that's my turn. Because which is funny because that's the mirror and it's not shimmering or anything right now. Oh, it would have been so funny if you just like into the mirror. Oh. <laughs> Ashes is lost for an indeterminate amount of time. Oh fuck, that would have been great. Oh, if if Jay needed to like take a hiatus from the from the game, that totally would have been like the way out. <laughs> just that would have been perfect. Into yeah. the mirror. <laughs> just, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Oh shit! All right. Uh, anything else? Like, I don't know where he is, guys. Okay. <laughs> that that's literally all I had. Gotcha. All right, that's it for your turn. Uh, this guy is dead. All right, we're going to do this, this, this. Um, oh, okie dokie. 
bones. Hello. You have just enough time to feel a rustling on your left. Um, before there is a gout of electricity that surges. What's everyone trying to take my shit? Oh, he just you. Turned... Um, you just touch it on me. I Can mean, I see the surge of electricity and counterspell it. No, I think you have to see okay. the person to be able to counterspell them. Um, I think. Yeah. Sadly. Yeah. yeah. I think you probably have to see the caster, but let's look up the spell. I did. Yeah. yeah target is because the target's a creature. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Um. I so, uh, I need bones, which is probably not going to be a problem, and ashes, which is probably going to be a problem, to make a DC 14 dexterity saving throw. Fighting for my life. God damn it. Ha! Ah! 23. Does that does that save? That does save. So Bones takes nothing because he has evasion. Um, ashes. Go oh, ahead. Does that. Uh, you eat uh, lightning bolts. So you take 28 Four. lightning damage. <laughs> Back to the floor. <laughs> Back to the floor you go. Where, okay, I, where, is I, it, where did it come from? Right here? Uh, it came from behind you. It shot through you and up north. Right but, but you feel the <sighs> creature... You feel him move afterwards. Like he doesn't he doesn't stay exactly there. Um and I he's invisible, so it's difficult then... to track. Well, uh, so here's my question. Would... Um the you know, the whole room's like icy and bloody and shit. Is any any chance I can track him due to my freakishly high perception Ab absolutely in a moment though though it's ezra's turn okay. first yeah and ezra does not have freakishly high perception so that's a different issue fair enough you are muted i think jake your face is muted. That yeah, it happens. Uh, it's very clear that there's still heightened senses. There was a bolt of lightning, so I know. Oh yeah, there's there's still something here. One hundred percent. What's the plan, Stan? Plan is I am annoyed. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> I, does, that's, is that a plan or is that just a state of being? Good plan, dude. All of the above. Shit. Okay. All of the kibbo. is going to yeah sure why not take two more steps backwards as he looks at bones hi i'm bones casts ezra's elemental armor tempest and then immediately drops it on bones so a 10-foot radius around him erupts in Can you, lightning Don't damage. you have to touch for elemental armor? Nope. 30-foot radius. Ooh, also, nice. doesn't that, that, drop, range. that drops invisibility on you and Matt? It does. Yep. Yeah. I mean, at this point. Sure. Yeah. He can see us, so it doesn't matter. Well, that's true. true. So, okay. So what does it do? It does a 10-foot blast? It's a 10 foot radius ah, dexterity yes. save. Okay. Is he within 10 feet? Hello. 
Yes. Well, Matashtai definitely is, so I need a uh, EC15 dexterity saving throw from Matashtai. I'm swift. He is swift as a coursing river. Uh, you take half of the 6d10 lightning damage. He has evasion. Oh, you have evasion, evasion, so you take none of the 6d10 lightning damage. Um, so, it, just for example, what would the 6d10 lightning damage be? Just curious. Uh, Jeremy. Okay, cool. So, gotcha. Understood. Okay, okay. That's my turn. Uh, uh, as the thunderous burst, the lightning rips off of uh, bones, there is a shimmering and then a curse. And bitches love shimmering. As the mage appears. Uh, I just want to point out that as, that Matashtai could have just like lit the lantern again. You know? <laughs> like how much better would it have been had I clocked him with a charge? Oh Man. fuck! Uh, he was he was one square to the right, by the way, um, when you missed him. Uh, anyways, um, and now I'm dead. He is visible. Hi. Yeah, I'm mate. Everybody's visible. And Me it's Matashtai's turn. Yeah, I'm visible. Under God. Okay. One nation. He's Diblay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm going to use my action. You see a shimmer of blue around him as you approach him. Yeah, I haven't figured out what that's about yet. Okay, it's so, something it's shieldy. It's shield. Feel like it's Shai Hulud's will. I'm gonna find out real quick. Jack, if you like that one, you like that reference? What bap? What bap? Uh, 26 hits, the 15 does not. He ain't listened. The black. Okay, 12 damage. Um, and as. It hits. Uh, as it hits, you take. Two cold damage as a burst of frost shoots off of the mage. Wow. It's a, it's a, it's a cold shield. It's a cold shield, guys. I figured it's it out. The armor of Agathus. How do you know that? I, I thought it was. Oh, it's the armor of Agathus. Damn, I thought it was shield of cold. Nope. There you go. Anything else, Matasha? You're so much more magical than me, Ashes. It's amazing. Do what? Um, I said you're so much more magical yes. than me. Uh, then... If I... Walk away, you're not gonna be able to sneak attack, are you? I can take care of Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch him once. So Flurry of Blows. So, uh, sorry, I'm using Flurry of Blows. One of them's gonna be a punch. Okay, That's a miss. miss. I don't think he cares. Uh, and then, <laughs> oh shit, I went through a wall. Um, Clear, clearly does not. I run up here. And hand of healing! Rise from the dead once more! I rise, stand your feet, I rise. Damn it. <laughs> I, Look, I tried. 
I tried. The charge was all I had. That was it's, my one shot to at least contribute somehow. It's like we're playing like an action RPG or something like that, or like something like Heroes of Hammer Watch or something, or, or like Back for Blood, and Jay just keeps going down and getting picked back up, going down, picked back up. Uh, anyways, hey Jay, you stupid piece of shit. Oh, running out of resources. No, I'm actually not. I'm pretty good poor baby. Spot. All right, I'm assuming that's Matashai's turn. Over, Bones, you're up. Yes. I take careful I'm gonna stab him. Okay. In in the gut with wind spike. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What twenty what does twenty one hit? I actually don't know. He's a mage. I actually don't know either. Twenty one hits. Neck attack. Oh okay. Yeah. Is he dead? Nope, he's still alive. Uh, and you take uh, ooh, significantly more thirteen cold damage. And I'm not resistant to cold damage anymore. God damn it, Jeremy, you got me again. I, I right. did. I fucking got you. That cold ring. Uh -huh. I. That's what keeps me up at night. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a thorn in my side. I'll be honest with you. All right, I draw Gore and I stab him again. Okay. Um, it's just the same as a normal dag. I don't have an offhand Gore button, do I? I don't. No. Um, okay. off. Gore. Offhand, offhand bone dag. To twenty twenty four. Four hits. You take one damage, but you're bleeding. Yeah, you're bleeding, you stupid piece of shit. <sighs> okay. 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 Turn over. Okay, it's Ashes, it's your turn. <laughs> Alright, 20 feet is uh, consumed getting up. Yeah, okay. Or whatever, the 20, 45, so yeah, it's, it's Actually, I couldn't do that because I took care of flame. You're not bleeding, you stupid piece of shit. Oh, okay, he's not bleeding. I get up. <sighs> Fuck you! <laughs> What's the thing? Yeah. I can't. Oh, I keep uh, I keep imagining Lost Vikings with Eric just the the do 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 do. God, seventeen. A seventeen would hit, but the mage in reaction throws up a hand, and there's an arcane burst. Deal, bro. This guy's got your number. And I, I I I kind of bounce back, and I reach behind my back. My free action will take Zalara. It, that's that's right. That's how it, that works, right? I can do yeah, that. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Eighteen still misses. His AC is twenty one with the shield up. AC is. Yeah, his AC is twenty one with the shield up. And like like I like I like clash into a shield, and then I like push on it for a little bit. I'm like, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you see, just he's this... just like. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Burn. Gonna lightning bolt you again. Okay. Point blank. If that is the end of your turn, he begins to move his hands in a flurry once more. Uh, I counterspell it. I I also counterspell it. He he goes to cast a spell that you are very familiar with, Ezra. It's greater invisibility. Counterspell. You're muted. You're, you're muted. I've been making jokes about Shy Halud and you didn't say anything. Yep, yep, nope, I didn't hear what you said. Uh, I will do it at fourth level. I will. Oh, you're, you're okay. Well, there is uh, uh, nothing he, I mean, uh, level equal dissipates, equal, right? E equal dissipates, yep. Gotcha. Okay. Um, then there is nothing that he can do about that. Uh, his invisibility is countered, and then he just stands there. And it's your turn, Ezra. He just, he, he just hit the invisible, like the spell is broken as he's weaving it. And he looks over and he just, his arms slump. And he just like turns his palms out and he just kind of closes his eyes. And <laughs> Ezra just rakes a spectral claw across his throat. <laughs> I questioned him, Ezra. Oh, and the guy just goes down. As soon as, as soon as the shield drops, down, as he loses bleeding. it, 
I follow through. Yeah. <laughs> oh These my are goodness. Dead. I don't care. Okay. 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 Gotcha. I did not. I did not have. Uh... Oh no! It, it dropped on his turn. Never mind. Yeah. The uh, the room that you all are in now is. Hey guys, the dragon's floor outside. Is coated in blood, uh, slick with blood and ice, like ice, melty ice, um, at least in the northern half of the room. Uh, you have been, you have successfully repelled an attack from the Drow House Avrindar within the mad well, within the miniature castle. And I think I that think, is where uh, we are going to go ahead and take our break. Uh, yeah. We are a little overdue for that. So when we get back, we will see what the fuck happens next on Dungeon of the Mad Mage in just a few, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like, commenting, or subscribing. It really helps me out. If you'd like to see me live, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash the distant horizon.